Hello and welcome to another work in progress video. This time I'm going to show more of the object editing that has been added. I've shown before that there's a, a number of different ways that you can add objects. You can draw lines, freehand draw, or do areas fairly rapidly. Uh, what I haven't shown before is the ability to edit those objects. What I've been working on for the past few weeks is uh, ways to grab a bunch of objects and just move them about um, so that they follow the, the terrain or the road. And uh, that's just done by holding the shift key down to move multiple objects so you can just pick one out and move it around to your liking. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, to delete objects you can just select a bunch of them and press the delete key. Uh, to rotate objects, you can just grab a few that you want to rotate. And let me just zoom in a bit there. Then you can grab the circles and rotate them. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can grab any of those axes and move them about. Um, sizing is done in a fairly similar way. You can just grab them and size them in any direction you like. Um, if you wanted to size everything, just grab it and resize one of them. They're all going up. Um, so it's fairly useful. Uh, the other thing that I've done is um, added a similar ability here to hide unselected objects. Um, so you can just work with one set. Uh, if I select all of these at the moment and uh, use this feature which is Align to Track it allows me to just click on the track and, and move it from side to side and have the trees line up with that, that track um, There's another demonstration what I could do is if I just uh, do the shed at the moment uh, we'll put a line of sheds in at say um, 20 metres apart and we want those sheds to, to follow the, the contour of the road and we can do so just by uh, just click on that to hide the others uh, select all and align to the road um, just moving side to side one thing you'll notice those sheds were all created in the, the same direction they, they weren't rotated any differently could rotate a, a couple um, and just demonstrate the, the differences in what we've had to do. So here they're a bit all over the place. Um, you can just grab them all again, click on this, tell them to align to the track and uh, they've all been rotated nicely so they, they fit snug against the track. Um, you can have an additional rotation, say 90 degrees, and do that again. Um, and if I just zoom out a bit, give myself some room. Um, there you've got all the objects lining up to the, the track in 90 degrees to it. Not so good for sheds, but probably good for things like um, fence posts or uh, the like. And you can do something similar with your, your fences as well. But um, light posts would be another thing that you'd use this way. And um, you've probably been looking over these settings. These are all different features, mostly for R Factor, which allow you to customize the amount of detail that goes into those objects and, and how they can be moved about or interacted with, or um, how they, they cast shadows, whether they be st static or dynamic. Um, so for objects that are close to the tracks, you can you can um, change their properties so that they cast good shadows, and, and objects which are further away, you can have no shadows on, and that'll improve your your game performance. Um, you've got some other features here, which is merge and split. So if you wanted to uh, again manipulate these objects, uh, we could split those out into another group and just work with that group rather than the other group. Merging does the opposite, it gets them all back into the one group again. 
Um, so there's a few features there that will help you um, develop some good tracks. The uh, development time, everybody asks me when's it going to be ready. Um, basically once I, I finish it uh, is the answer. This is all too common an answer. Um, I know you're eager to use it and I'm eager for you to have it, but um, th there's still some other work to be done, uh, which I, I haven't even touched on in these video examples. So you'll just have to patiently wait. Um, one of the good things that I've just shown here is the uh, the, the density um, with which we're working with is uh, fairly dense. I just unhide all of that and select all. You can see that's um, 5,000 of the little trees and it's um pretty good refresh rate. So that's one of the things I've been working on is uh, using the hardware. If you've got a, a shader model 3 or later hardware card, which um, is anything pretty much in the last few years, um, then you'll get this performance um, benefit. And um, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. And um, yeah, beta testing will, will probably commence in, in a few more weeks, I would say. So um, hopefully you can get a play with it then. Thanks for watching.